Edinburgh, a bustling capital city with some of the most picturesque views in Europe. Famous for its old town and ancient past, the city is full of wonder, with millions of visitors flocking each year. Edinburgh is renowned for its historic buildings and amazing landscapes. Arthur Sea offers beautiful views of the city and beyond. Each summer the city attracts over 2 million tourists who come from far and wide to attend one of the world's most exciting events, the Edinburgh Festival Fringe and the Hogmanay celebrations. But there are many people in Edinburgh who experience the darker sides of the city, which lie under the shadows of the castle. Whilst many people in Edinburgh experience a quality standard of living, this is not the case for everyone. In the 18 minute journey from town to one of the most deprived areas in the country, a family will become homeless. There is a deep-rooted poverty in people living from payday to payday, struggling to make ends meet. In Edinburgh, there is a 21-year difference in life expectancy between the richest and the poorest communities. One in five children live in poverty. There is almost 2,000 looked after young people who find it difficult to learn in school and beyond. Every year, 20% of young people experience mental health issues. Hate crimes are based on racism. LGBTQ rights, Islamophobia, homophobia, human rights and many more. In Edinburgh, hate crimes are on the rise. Many people live in houses that are not fit for purpose. Some houses are damaged and people cannot afford to fix them. Many stairwells are dirty and badly lit so people don't feel safe. There are many new houses that have been built which is great for the community. However, it is really important that these are affordable and given to the people who need them most. Although we have parks in our community for young people to play in, many of these have been ruined. We want to see an improvement so the next generation has a clean and safe place to play so they can enjoy their childhood. In our school and community, we are already doing things that make a difference. This is the Pennymill Alker Centre that's recently opened in Muir House. We are very lucky to have all our services working together. Pennymill Alker Centre offers everything from mental health support to offering a food bank to combat poverty. Our vision for 2050 is for every area in Edinburgh to have a service like this. In our community, people are trying their best, but how hard they work doesn't seem to match quality of life. We know that many people in our community face unemployment, which means it's difficult to provide for their families. What's more frustrating is that majority of people who are in poverty do have a job. In our school, we understand the difficulties that some young people face, so we try to help in any way we can. Every morning, we are given a breakfast bar and tutor, which starts the day well. We are very proud of our school uniform. If we've forgotten to bring it or we've not been able to wash it, we can borrow our uniform from the uniform room. This is very helpful because no matter what, we can start the day like everyone else. We would like everyone in Edinburgh to have the same opportunities. At Craig Royston, we want everyone to feel included, no matter what their race, gender, sexuality, disability or ethnicity. 20% of young people in our school come from different countries and speak different languages. This year we have really focused on ensuring that everyone in our school feels included. We are an inclusive school and embrace diversity. Recently we have had an inclusion week where we celebrated being different. We also have people who are LGBTQ+. Uh, so I started up my LGBTQ plus drop-in because I think it's really important that all students feel that they are part of the school regardless of their um, gender identity, sexuality or anything else going on. So it's just a safe space for pupils to drop in, um, just have lunch, chill out and, and meet other people who are in a similar position to they are. And it's open to both people who do identify as being LGBTQ plus or the allies, so that just means people who support the kind of things that they're going through and are supportive of them. We know that hate crime and bullying is an issue in our city. When I realised I was being bullied, um, people were making fun of me, making fun of my family, and I couldn't really deal with it, so I kept it bottled up. It's one thing no one should do, because you, you take it on the people you love. I feel that racism is still very present in today's society. I've experienced a lot of racism through my childhood, through my life. I remember people laughing at my lips because they were too big. I've been told to go back to my own country. I've been insulted for speaking my own language. I've been, I've been called a slave. This comment really affected me and I'm sure that it will affect other people. Casual racism is when you're being racist in a 
jokey way but you don't actually know that it's actually racist and it can also affect people for example i've been called to pray to be black and just because i'm black it means i can't be pretty i shouldn't be pretty it's not class as serious as people call me a slave but if someone made fun of my lips for being too big, it hurts me the same. We want to encourage young people to speak about their experiences so everyone understands the negative impact words can have. We also know that bullying and hate crime happens online. We would like a law to be enforced for people to be held accountable for their actions. This would make our city a safer place for the next generation. Our school is like a big jigsaw made up of different cultures, beliefs and traditions and we know that this makes us more understanding. Our vision for 2050 is that people are educated to understand and respect the differences in individuals. At Craig Royston, everyone's included. Many of our young people and their families experience mental health issues. Uh, me and my family have had to deal with that as he's grown up through his childhood and then into adolescence uh, and it's sort of about nurturing and caring for him uh, throughout his journey and dealing with his mental health issues. Three children in every classroom have a diagnosable mental health issue. A semicolon represents suicidal thoughts, attempts and the continuation of life. In English, it's used when a sentence could have been ended but was carried on and that was a symbol for mental health. By 2050, we would like more people to be trained to deal with mental health and have more support in schools. We want people to know that they're not alone. Every journey starts with one step. Every adventure starts with curiosity. Every book begins with one page. Every flip starts with one jump. Every story begins with one word. Every friend starts with a hello. Every school day begins with one class. Every change begins with an idea. By 2050, we want a city that's inclusive. We want a city where young people don't live in poverty. We want a city where care experienced young people have a better chance in life. We want a city that ensures equity for all. We will make a change. We, we will make, make a difference. difference.